I own a dental laboratory in Marietta, California. It's a digital laboratory, so you know most of our doctors uh, have Prime Scans. But yeah, we're very proud to be a laboratory that only accepts digital scans. So we have 20 people that work here, and basically 12 of them are, are my family members. You know, I have my mom, my dad, my sister, my other sister, my nephew, uh, my son, my daughter. Uh, I can just go down the list. Eventually, I bought my first printer. So I went for a big industrial printer, and all it did all day is, is make models. And that was basically my intro into, into printing. I saw, I saw it being a lot more efficient faster and all I kept thinking about was how many different materials are going to hit the market so that we can really take it to another level when it came to printing. When the prime print you know was introduced to my laboratory I noticed right off the bat that there was something different about it especially when it came to the workflow when it came to the speed and also when it came to the cleansiness of being able to you know print multiple materials without you know getting dirty. So as we talk about workflows, you know, it basically, it's, it's a very streamlined workflow. It's very easy. Um, you know, it basically starts from receiving a scan. You open up the file, you can make a crown, you can basically make a model with the crown. I mean, there's so many different options that we have today when it comes to, you know, digital dentistry or receiving cases from our doctors. So we basically design the crown. After we design the crown, we click a button, we make a model. We design the model, after we design the model, then we export everything. And so what's really cool about, you know, for me at least in our laboratory, because everything that we have is in lab, you know, we, everything is just a complete circle. So I just press one button, everything exports to where it needs to go and what folder it needs to go. And now the fun begins. You know, with the CAM software, I move from one spot to the next, it basically calculates everything for me. And then once I press, you know, go on the printer, it's more or less me opening up the door putting it in, closing it, and then I just walk away. I just click one button. I mean, literally, I can click one button and I'm able to start my print job. Then the next step that we have is that we're just putting it into the, the PPU and you're not really getting all that guck all over yourself, right? I mean, it's not, you know, you have to wash your hands a thousand times or, or like I see some of my techs, you know, basically using the alcohol to get all that material off their hands. Because uh, once it's done, all you're doing is opening it up and it's already cured for you, it's already clean for you, and it's already dried for you. <laughs> and so once you take that, you just take all the, the sprues off. Once you take the sprues off, your model's ready to go. Once you have that crown, you basically take that crown, you take that model, especially if it's a, an implant case, you just put that bad boy in there, you screw it in, and uh, you know you call it a day. You know, I gotta say, I, I love the speed of the prime print, but I also love the ability that it has to, to basically change things or to modify or to personalize it, you know, in, in, in whatever way you want, especially in the software. You know, the prime print to me, it's just the final piece of the puzzle in my opinion, you know? I've been waiting for a long time uh, for InLab to sort of bring me that printer that would then complete my, my workflow circle as I called it, right? You know, from directly from my doctors, you know, with their prime scans into my in lab, out to my cam, to my mills, and then finally now I can say to my printer. Uh, and so that to me is huge when it comes to in lab, when it comes to dense splice Arona's, you know, uh, digital workflow, uh, it all just works. As people say, it just works. And so me adding this, it just works.